hello friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Heather Baxter, otherwise known as HB, HB Ministries. So I do a lot of teaching here on this platform. I love to teach and encourage women to just be empowered and be the best they can according to God's will. Like, I love that. But outside of that, I love anything to do with decorating, organizing, planning, uh, all of those things that I tend to, if I disappear for a while from teaching, I am behind the scenes creating the new seasonal picture for the house. You know what I mean? Just resetting it. And it's funny because I got up this morning and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to set up my kitchen. I have a couple little things that I want to put together like this I just did last night and it's simple, but look how cute and my sparkly little egg. So it brings the green into the picture out there. I'll take you around, show you some things. Uh, but I opened up my phone this morning and my daughter who lives in Boston sent me a TikTok and it said, I had to start a sentence. She, it was just like a TikTok about somebody that had to start a sentence in regards to Easter and in regards to fall and Christmas. And she said, every single prompt led me back to my mom and what my mom did in the, at the holidays, what my mom did for Easter, how my mom decorated for Easter, every little ritual and fun thing we did. I will say it made me cry because I was already getting ready to do my coffee bar this morning and set it up. And when my kids were all home, they're all grown up now, I have one baby home right now, the coffee bar was decorated. Like they had the cutest little stirs and I would decorate the stirs, I would decorate my lampshade, and I decided to have fun with my uh, coffee bar for Easter because I really haven't done that in a while. It's been cute and like fancy decorated, but not like these little touches. So I went back to that. All right, first things first, I bought something seasonal from Amazon. By the way, many of you uh, would go to my Amazon shop and Amazon did something not nice. They changed the way that you're allowed to link. And so everything that I had linked uh, looks like my Amazon page is dead on my website. So yeah, I need to redo everything. It's so cute. You're gonna just be like, what, what? Oh, I am so excited. Look at this thing. <gasps> Look, he's so cute, right? Look at this. <gasps> I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine. Oh, look. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I love it. And he goes in here. Look at, look how cute he is. And then it comes with, okay, so we got the plug all inside of here. Let me take that off. Mm -hmm. Wait. Push this back up. Anyway, while I'm taking this out, I'm wearing my daughter's uh, t-shirt and on the back, I don't know if you can see, but on the back, let me show you the back. You can see, I don't know, can you see her name? Maybe, maybe not. But anyway, on her back, my daughter's name's on that. And this was uh, 2016. My daughter was um, in the United States uh, Snowboard Championship up in Colorado. She was 12th in the state here in Michigan for a snowboarder, so a racer. Yeah, talk about me almost losing it. It was pretty, ooh, that's a pretty bob. That, that's so pretty. Uh, but anyway, yeah, she, so we went up to Colorado and she didn't place, I think she came in like 23rd out of all those people on the back of my shirt. But there was a season, again, season, that that's all we did is we really ran with her. We kept everything else in priority, um, but it was a, uh, Exciting time. Look how cute. Isn't she cute? I love it. Now, if you go to Hobby Lobby or, yeah, it's Hobby Lobby, you can find these little picks in the wedding section. And I love to, I just love these. I love to just shove these in, in little teeny spots. So you'll see me do that. This is an old wire basket I got from an antique place a long time ago. And I'm gonna lean it on its side. And right now I'm just putting, I put a big towel in there and I'm just super mossing it. So you can't see 
the towel along the sides. And then I'm going to stuff it with a couple bunnies. Here I have a lamp and these little topiaries are from Pottery Barn and I love them. They are cute. And this little bunny guy, he's from Hobby Lobby and I just put a little bit of a um, little black and white ribbon on him. On the topiary, I've had these lamps forever. Put it on a book and then this is our TV and I love to put on, you know, the different pictures for the season. And then over here, the same little thing. I got a little bit, we're getting there, but I have some of these. So I'm thinking I might just stick some of those in the back. Give it a little heighty height in the back there. I almost could stick this whole thing back there. And I always pull things out. And as we're doing that. There you go, see? Like, boom. Just enough to pull out. I don't do a whole lot of color in my house. If you've been around my channel long enough, you know I'm pretty much gold, black, and white. Might have to hot glue that on there a little bit, but whatever, nothing. I don't, maybe a tiny bow, just a little teeny bow right now, like this, I'm thinking. We will just do a bin and in the bin I have all the different flowers so this is actually spring I will pull out the pinks and the oranges it's bird nest season yet this is all bird nests and eggs and little birdies and so that will come after Easter so now I'm gonna put everything back and rearrange this is place settings for Easter which I'm not using this year. Go back in my nest bag. These are great for coffee bars, so put this in the nest bag. If you do not have a little container, let me see, of this gold paint, this stuff is a must because I see areas where there can be some gold paint. And if you can see right now, ooh, the inside of his ear, ooh, this is getting out of my hands, is not gold. And I'm like, okay, why isn't his ear gold? So I always have this on and just look, we're just gonna, look, we're just gonna kind of go in because first of all, most of my house is white and gold. Yeah, I'm looking at it going, what, what needs to happen here? This little bunny, if you're looking, such a strange place that I found him, but I found him at Home Depot in the garden area and he is heavy, so he stays outside all year because we have a lot of bunnies here and if you go to Home Depot you'll find him and he is like almost looks like an antique look at that okay that's it see what I'm talking about look at that like bam 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 okay so I put a towel in here to fill this up but this is the bag of real natural moss now this is from Ashland I don't know there's an old towel because it's low. And I'm just going to do a few pieces here. I don't want this too much because I'm going to actually, this won't go on my coffee table. I'm thinking of keeping this on my island so we can talk to people, but yet it be like creative. It's really pretty. I'm loving the idea of the moss. It has a beautiful color. Very nice. And I even have extra. If I kind of want to make a little bit of some areas bigger, I might want to put some in the other one. But I like that for now. Okay. Okay. So that is what we came up with.
it's hitting like 530 here. So the sun is beautiful in this front room. So I'm going to show you. I mean, stunning in that room. Plus the reveal of everything in that room that I had been really working on for over a year and a half. Show you the reveal in this room. I got to show you this recliner. Oh, you know that fluff monster that's like going viral? It's called the fluff monster. Well, I got the fluff monster recliner. Oh my goodness. She is my heart and soul. This is where I love to sit in the evening. She reclines all the way back. She has a phone charger. And she turns. She's not bulky. So if I want to sit and put my feet up in the window, you can see how bright and how beautiful the sun exposure is in this room. This room's just, it's gorgeous. So the decorations and the, and the coloring of the furniture had to be just right. And when the summer hits, this field is as green as can be. It's gorgeous. And I really wanted this to be my seat to look out. So again, Lowell, Michigan is where I bought this. This is super soft, super, super, super soft. And you can even get these in like uh, loungers. My mom's looking at getting a lounge chair, but I'm telling you, beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. And like I said, it reclines and it was just perfect for this room. So I waited, I waited. Sometimes it's best to wait. All right, now, this was the picture I have been playing off of for quite some time. And again, we do still have some patching to do. I do have surround sound in the house, but this picture is stunning. This is done by an artist. I have been eyeing it for quite a while, always loved it. And it really looks like our outside. So I really wanted to play off of that. And as I've had this up, I knew that this the furniture in here had to be light and airy. So I brought my sectional. This is from our old house, but I brought it. It was in the other room and we brought it back in here. And I really, really love it. So here we go. Let me just kind of show you. Uh, that is our anthropology mirror. It is going to go up on the wall. And this is how nice and airy she looks. And I really like her area in here it just it's it's just a beautiful thing so these tables are from ballard's they just got here this week they're the nesting tables which i like because you can push this way under if you have company bring it over if you you know have company whatever um i'm looking at it and i was i was wiping them down today with all my glass and crystal and i'm like you know i don't have grandchildren yet right <laughs> Uh, I was laughing. I was so laughing because this is not something I would have had in the day. But I don't have grandchildren yet, so we're going to enjoy it. Anyway, yeah, so just really simple. Got my little bunnies out. She throws off diamonds all over the walls when the time hits. It's really, really pretty. Ballard's is one of my favorite places. This lamp is from Ballard's. Beautiful. Let's just, it's like a hand-blown antique brass, and it is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous, especially at night. It's light, it's airy. I wanted light and airy to match this. Now, if you see like the gold hues kind of in that picture, I have very light, subtle little simple that are going to be taking away from these winter fur pillows. They're like a light gold, real pretty, almost like the frame color. See how pretty that frame color is? Those are going on the couch. They're not here yet, but that's coming in. Then from this view, we have the TV on the wall, and I have two sconces, light sconces from Ballard's that are going to be going up there, and they're just real, real beautiful. That is that. And yep, this is the room. Here's the view from this way. And she is done. I'm really happy with her. Yeah, I'm happy. It's looking good. Now, on this wall right here, okay? I think I shared this with you maybe in the last video. I'll show you what I'm working on. So you see her. Actually, you'll see the field when you walk in here. Then you'll see her. And then on that back wall, I'll show you exactly. So here is the picture that is going to be going on that wall. And this is the light that came from Ballard's. 
I love these little like library lights that'll go on the wall and hang. But do you see the difference in color? I do. So I ordered a little bit more of an antique just to rub in this. And then I got black paint to do just the edges. So it kind of pops. I want this to be black on the picture so it doesn't mesh. And this is again, a gorgeous picture. This should be done this weekend and on that wall. So this will really pull in that gorgeous picture that I have. So that is that. Very, very pretty. I'm excited about that. That'll be done soon. Uh, we have carpet going on in here, just at 10 by 13. And that is going to be this one right here. That right there is going to be in here. And so it'll pick up my chairs and the pictures. And that's that. And then, and this is called Out in the Wild. If anybody's interested, oh my goodness, don't ruin the floors. And then in here, we went with the bottom one. It's like a topi to go with these marble, shiny marble floors. And that will go all the way up the stairs. I do have a mirror coming here and I'm just keeping this very, very open and airy. And then I have the matching rug that's a little wider. I think it comes out to like right here. And it's the same as that. Now look at, are you ready for the reveal? <gasps> Do you see? Do you see what I see? If you've been here a while, you know. You know that you know. Oh, we were going to paint the door black. And we did. Let me go upstairs and show you. So steps. I cannot wait till the steps get done. So pretty. It was meant to be. On both sides of the door there, we have sconces. They look like this. Here's a picture. They're long. They're 30 inches. Yeah, 30 inches. And they'll be on both sides. So that'll give it a little light. And then this is my overhead, like little balcony from the top floor. And then that goes right into our bedrooms. Say hi. You have sisters that know you. They just is my little bed. Yeah, I don't like a lot of action. This is our conversation. My husband loves to sit in here. I like to read right here. And the views here are also gorgeous. This is another just quiet room and we do have a TV in here. And again, just, just a little sitting room. And now the famous lady. She gets changed out seasonally. I already changed her necklace from Christmas in, in uh, February, which was red. And then I stick to black and white. I like to pull a flower that I have throughout the house because I like to kind of keep my same flowers throughout the house. So you'll see this flower here, you'll see it here, and then in the family room. And now I'm gonna go downstairs and get my green hydrangeas because in my yard, if you look out this window, which is where she goes. And look who's sleeping in my window. This is Margo. And Margo will sit in this window all day. All day long. I have three outdoor barn cats. Anyway, she sits here. And I will do green hydrangeas in there because you will see pretty soon, all in my garden, all of this turns green. Oh. Look at this. So I went to the antique store yesterday and somebody had a uh, Beauty and the Beast wedding and they were getting rid of all of their teacups. And this whole set was $9, just four. Somebody else bought the other, but look how darling these are. Four. Oh, so cute. Like I, this was a win-win. They're beautiful. This one, look at this beautiful butterfly. 
Look at that. Adorable. Yeah, so that was a, this was a great find. I was really excited about that. Aren't those cute? All right. It's the next day. It's Friday morning. Hello. Mm. Who doesn't like to mess around with a cup of joe in their PJs? Finishing up a little decorating. I don't know. It's always like my favorite time. It really is. Not to like do hard stuff, but. Anyway, we switched out our necklaces. And I'm gonna keep her. I'll put this in a minute, but we'll keep her in. So I always go, like I said, green. Green, look how pretty already. And I make her really fall out. Oh, I can fall for the spring. Now it's all about fluffing, you know, you know. If you know, you know. Then I do have one of these fresh branches because they just look like spring, right? So pretty. This could be in the back more. Just one. That's pretty. I don't know. I don't want to add a little pink. I brought a little, little, little pink because I do have highlights of pink, but I don't know. Maybe I'll... Let's see. This definitely is cute, too. Hmm, this is where you just have to play. Hmm, I don't know about that. Well, I kind of like it. Oh, I'm making a mess. Okay, Heather. Hang on. This is real life now. I do like this, though. This is for sure. And this could come out off the side, I think. Wait. I wish I had two of these, because that's pretty. Okay, I like that. I don't have two of those, though. But maybe just the one, right? It was so weird. I had a dream last night that I was up north at my grandma's house, far up north in Houghton Lake. And I don't even remember, but I remember the, the little trailer that my grandparents lived in vividly and the backyard and the woods that we would play in. And I was back there playing. Isn't that weird? How you just have these dreams that come and go and you can actually remember your childhood in it. I don't know. I thought that was weird. I'm still stuck on that this morning. Like a dream. I dreamed that. Okay. Now, I think what I'm going to do is the famous let's cut a couple off trick. So, this is the funny thing. These scissors always end up in a different drawer. I tell everybody, put the scissors away where you found them. It doesn't work. Okay. I'm just going to snip a couple of these off. And just pop a cup. Oh yeah, that's that's adorbs. Totally cute. Let's do one more. I love. It. <gasps> Would you look at that? <gasps> what? I think she needs just a little bit right there, don't you, for her bangs? Like really cute bangs. I mean, you need your bangs, right? Like, let's pay attention to the bangs. A little bit of a bang there. Bang. Bang. Okay. One more. Should we go with one more? One more. Okay. And she will stay like this until summer. This is actually my spring, spring look too. So this will stay. And then I'll start adding white hydrangeas to it. So there. Pretty much done. Is she not pretty? I love her. Yeah. Is she not pretty? What do you guys think? I think she's gorgeous. Now let's put her in the window.
thank you for hanging out with me today. This was my home reset for spring and I just wanted to take you on a little tour. I have done a lot. We have only been in this home for two years. Uh, it seems like a long time, but we really are adding all the details to it now. So thanks for uh, watching with me. I know many of you have asked for some of my updates and where we're at with the homes. I hope that this was fun for you. I will be doing another reset video on another part of my life wheel. So this was my home reset. If you belong to the dream and explore, I'll post the book here. We are getting ready to do our quarterly reset. And so my home is definitely checked off. Now I'm going to be talking to you in the next video about my self care and my physical health reset. What am I really focusing on? So again, I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you sisters and I will see you in the next reset.